Today, I'm going to show you how to make a camera track for about $20 each. And how to make them tripod mountable for just a little more. To make a nice camera track that rolls smoothly, we're going to use something that has balls. Ball bearings to be exact. Nice and smooth. At minimum, you're gonna need the following items. A 26 inch drawer slide. Quarter inch by three quarter inch flathead screw. Quarter inch caps nut. The screws that come with your drawer slide. And a couple blocks of wood. Oh yeah, and the camera mount. Swivel style. And the tools. You'll need a drill and some pliers. Three eighths inch drill bit. Number two Phillips bit. And seven sixty fourths drill bit. The stepper bit is optional. You may also need a utility knife, depending on your drawer slide. Here's all of the minimum supplies and their costs. Because most items are sold in packs of two or more, you'll likely have the supplies for two tracks. If you have extra funds, this is what I recommend for the ultimate tripod mountable track. A stepper bit, three more screws, quarter inch coupling nut, three more nuts, and two quarter inch wood inserts. Start by removing the rubber drawer stop. This works for keeping a drawer from sliding around, but uh, we don't want any jerky movements. So out she goes. Nice and smooth. On the open end of the slide, flip it over and remove the first drawer extension. There will be a lock in the bottom. Push it over and slide it out. Once removed, use your quarter inch drill bit to open up the four holes on the slide. Do not drill into this one. You'll destroy the slide lock. If you have a stepper bit, I recommend using it, as it will make more accurate and clean holes. If you drill the hole too big, your screw may not fit tightly and washers may have to be purchased. So drill carefully. Your stepper bit also doubles as a deburring tool for the backside of the hole. Next use the quarter inch screw you got earlier. Don't use a panhead screw like this one. It will bind up in the sliding mechanism. Put the screw in the bottom and secure it with a kept nut on top. With pliers, of course. Grab a block of wood and the other half of your drawer slide. Line up the wood block and use the small drill bit to make holes for screws. Use the screws that came with your drawer slide to secure them together. On the other side, you'll need to slide the track to expose the holes. The same procedure applies. Now you can attach your camera mount to the bolt. Start with it tightened, then loosen it up once it's secure to mount the camera. A simple camera track! If you want to use the holes on the other side of the track, you'll need to modify the track stop as the bolt head is too large. Simply grab a utility knife and cut it in half. And chop! But what if we want to go further? Grab your big drill bit and drill a hole in the center of each wood block. It needs to be deep enough for the inserts to sit flush. Use a large flat object to screw in the inserts. I use the crowbar just because. Now add the extra screws and nuts to the slide and throw on your coupling nut as both a handle and quarter inch receiver. Now you have four mounting points for versatility. Mm-hmm. So grab your tripods and enjoy my friends. You've earned it.